In this video, we're going to focus on how we can start to put in these icons here between the chart and the legend. And of course, having all these icons here, depending on the specific day, if it's raining, cloudy, or just clear weather. So let's start to look how to add icons on top of a chart area in Chart.js. So we're going to do two things here. First of all, we need to make sure we have a space between the legend and the chart area. Secondly, we want on top of this area, put icons. So let's start with the very first. Make sure you have the boiler template, which you can find here on Chart.js 3.com getting started. This link is in the description box. Once you're on here, copy this chunk of code and you're good to go. Next, do you want to get the source code of this video and many others? Check out my Patreon page here. Link is in the description. And of course, join the Discord channel that I have. All right, let's start to work on this right now. So the first thing that we're going to do here is creating a plugin. So if I say comma, I'm going to say plugins. And then in here, I'm going to put in the item. So what we're going to do here is say, uh, proper name for this is the icon or weather icon weather icon let's copy that create our plugin block here so we say here slash weather icon plugin block constant weather icon equals and then we're going to say an id weather icon and this is of course a string but then here we're going to work on adding the space for that. We're going to say before init or before the initialization of drawing the chart, we need to recalculate the space of the legend. And that's basically this specific function here that we're going to do. We're going to say chart, arc, and plugin options. Then we're going to say here, well, let's see what we need. What we need to do here is calculate and before it draws it, that's why we have this here, before it draws it, calculate the space. So to get that space, I'm going to show you here just built in items. So we're going to say chart dot legend dot fit. That's basically the one calculates the item here, which is a built in function in chart.js. So we have this function here. You can just ignore all of that. It will basically do something. All I want to do here is get the value so i'm going to say constant fit value will be equal to this so i'm going to grab this function say we want to have that function next what i want to do here i'm going to reuse this you might say can we use this uh this value in this case i know that it doesn't work always like that so get it separate so this one here will remember whatever the value is and this one will be the new value that you're going to do and it will latch on onto this if I'm correct. Anyway, doesn't matter. We're going to say the function fit. And in this function fit, we're going to say here the fit value dot bind. So basically this value, we will bind it or combine it with the chart dot legend. And it's basically the chart legend object. And then we have this here. I, to be honest, I don't even know what this exactly does, but I'm sure it does something very important. Anyway, then we're going to say here return this and then we're going to say here dot height we're going to grab the height whatever the height is and just say here for example 20. let's save that refresh and then as you can see here now it's starting to get smaller apparently the height is far higher so we can say here 30. i guess it was 30 but what we can say as well whatever it was i want to say plus equal another 50 pixels so we're going to grab the existing value and then we do the other we add up another 50 pixels so you can see here like that we can start to do like that so you will not damage the existing calculation but just add on all right now we have this space here we can now start to work on it and i think 30 is more than sufficient let's start to put in the icons here on the very top so to do this we should give every of these data points a proper value as well and i'm just going to give this very very simple what i'm going to do here well two things first of all let's get the cdn and the cdn here for font awesome i think the latest one is 6.4 or whatever it is it's going very fast these days so i'm just going to grab that put it in here so we have that one so 
now we should be able to load those icons so what I'm going to say here now is let's get three cases because it's a weather based so I'm going to say here we have rain cloud and clear weather like the moon very simple I'm not going to go too deep but of course the request was in those items but of course the font awesome has if you type in weather here you can see any item that would be applicable so I'm going to say here weather I will not say weather icon but I'll say weather and then every what uh, every data point here has an associated value with it so let's say here clear then you can say your cloud and then we say here rain very simple nothing fancy and here finally let's say here uh, cloud again all right so now we have that and we are allowed to do this by the way because this is still a javascript object so we can just add a new object in here and then all we have to make sure that it will read it so so far we have now the space but where are the icons so let's start to work on the icons so there's a comma so we're going to continue on here and now we're going to say after the data set draw data sets draw we're going to say chart arcs and plugin options and once we did this we're going to put in here the items so what do we need here well first of all i will be needing the data because i want to access this weather object here so i'm going to say an object destructuring say constant equals chart object and we just split it out if you don't understand what i'm doing here check out the video understanding charges object destructuring in the description box so what i want to say here is i want the ctx i want the data but i want the chart area probably so chart area and i think we only need the top and maybe left and right anything else i will probably i can probably skip so now we have this so what I want to do here is a few things. I want to draw an icon. So how do we draw the icon here? So I say constant. And we can say here, very easy, weather, because I expect only a certain condition here. And the certain condition are rain, sunny, cl clear, and cloud. In my case, I only have three items. So I want to put these values into a new array. That is this one here. So once I have this, uh let's see constant weather and it gives me an error because i have a single quotation mark missing all right so now we have that then what i want to do here is start working with these so-called unicodes this is very important let's let's draw something so you know exactly what i'm talking about i'm going to say ctx dot save to save all variables above and then we're going to say ctx dot uh let's say the font fill style will be gray next what i want to do here is ctx dot font and let's give this a 20 pixel this is a string value 20 pixel and then the font family this is very important we're going to look for the font family for that we can just grab this here let's grab all of this i guess we can just open up this put it in there and as we do this, you can see here probably somewhere the font family, and you can see here the font awesome free. If I'm not mistaken, the font family will be font awesome all attached together. However, you can find that here, but you can see here the font family type that is basically the name of the font. Uh, I will just take it for granted and just say the font. Uh, that will be font family will be some, um, font awesome. That's the one, sorry. So I say font, awesome. And then once we did this, we can now start to continue on. This is the font family that I want. And then here, the pixels and then the color. Now I can say here, fill text to put in the font item. So here, we're going to put in a icon. Then we're going to put in here the X and Y coordinates. For now, I'll just say here, 20 by 20 later on i'm going to work on this what is important for me is figuring out where can i find the icon data so if i go here to the font awesome and i want for example the cloudy weather i'm going to click on this and you can see here we get all of this information but we're not allowed to use this kind of code in our canvas what we are allowed is the unicode the unicode is basically the css uh, symbol but matching in a letter format 
I hope that makes sense. It's basically the code that would be matching with this cloud. So, so by doing this, we can put it in here. But because it's Unicode, we need to have a forward slash U. So it's always six digits. So these two are the default forward slash U and then the code, which is four digits. So if I save this right now, and let's go back here, refresh, look at that absolutely awesome or absolutely fun awesome. So what I want to do now, of course, is to put this down here and match them all and make sure we look through all of these nicely. So how can we do this? Well, what we're going to do is two parts. First of all, we have all of this here. So we know which cloud or which icon we can use. Secondly, we need to figure out here whatever the value has. Whatever the value has, show that specific value or matching value with it. Or, I mean, the icon. If it's clear, show the matching clear icon or else anything else. So let's start to work on it. So I'm going to say a constant and we can say here weather unicodes or icon, whatever you want. But I think unicode would be very applicable. So now we have that. So what we need to do is get every unicode matching with our weather. So first of all, we know this one here. This was the cloud, so that will mean here, comma, cloud, and comma, let's figure out the rain. So we go in here, we have here the cloud, and you can see here weather. I'm searching on weather here, we have cloud, thunder, anything you want, sun. Let's get the moon here, which I will say is our clear weather. Let's grab here the Unicode and say this is the clear weather. Remember, forward slash U. And then finally here, what we need more, uh, besides the weather, we can look for the rainy day. Uh, we have this, as you can see here, there's so many options. So just grab, grab what is applicable. And then here for the rain, forward slash U. All right, so what we need to do here is basically make a loop with the index and figure out what the icon index is matching with this here so if i see here clear it should grab here index number one of zero and that will match this specific icon that we eventually change this into a soft coded value so let's start to work on that so to do this what i want to do well i want to keep this array outside the for each loop so what i'm going to say here i'm going to say data dot data sets index zero and what i'm really doing here because i have the data here i'm just going into this object here the data object and then i want to grab here the weather that's the object i want so say here dot data dot data sets dot weather and then we're going to say here dot for each for every weather icon or for every uh i guess condition weather condition condition we have an index and then we're going to say here, function arrow expression. And within here, we're going to say the following. When we get here, the weather or the condition, I guess we could say that um, the, the condition, what I want to do here is, because this is the weather, and then I need to grab, hold on, hit this. I'm going to grab this. Why? I want to have, the index number of whatever the condition is and let me just show you so because I'm getting slightly confused as well but let me show you so you understand exactly what I am doing here so if I open up this you can see here we get all of these rain clouds etc etc so these are string values and what I want to do now is whatever this is if this is rain on the which index number is this then we can match the index number here afterwards that's basically what I'm trying to do here so the index of the condition, whatever the value is, so we can say here, um, constant weather index equals, make sure we say here index. Then if I say console log, and let's grab the weather index, we should see here the number. All right, so it just takes some time to load, especially because of the font awesome, it's quite heavy. As you can see here, it shows here, the index number so now it becomes very easy because what I can do here is just change this and then I will say here give me the weather 
Unicode array and in there put in this. But of course, I want to say here, cut this, put it within this for each loop. Then we should see here multiple icons, but probably the position is still off. As you can see here, it loads a lot of icons, it just takes some time to load, but, uh, but you can see here, they're all on top of each other. So what we need to do now is start to fix here the X position, or the, uh, the X position basically. So how do we get this? Uh, let's see here what is exactly the item I want. I want to have definitely the top because I want to be on this area here. So I'm going to grab here for the Y, the top, if I save that, there we are. And probably we can say minus 20. By doing that we're pushing it up. Now how do we get to the center here? Well, that would be probably with the index number. What we can say here is the following constant, and then we're going to say x or x position will be, uh, let's say here, we can just say here chart. This is just a built in functionality that we can just quickly grab get data set meta index zero. But this is a function of chart, yes, that's for parentheses dot data. And then we're going to say here the index, whatever the index is, that's this one here, dot x. By doing this, I get the x coordinate here, so I can save that, refresh, there we are. Should we move it a bit? I feel like we might need to move this. Let's do a, well, let's say ctx dot text align, and text align will be center, and see how that will respond. There we are, and I think that looks quite nice, and absolutely phenomenal. And that's basically how we can add up icons here nicely between the chart area and the legend.